Good morning everyone, here from Puerto Vallarta. So in this video we're going to be heading to a beach town nearby called Yalapa, which I think is no longer part of uh, Puerto Vallarta, but it's in the same Mexican state of Jalisco. And the cool thing about this town is that it's only accessible by boat, so there's no roads or anything. And yeah, we're going to be spending an entire week there. We thought it would be something pretty unique. We've never spent time in a, in a town like that before. So yeah, that's why we decided to go there. And we've just been really looking forward to, to heading there. So we've just been packing up now to leave. And I think we need to go into the center of Puerto Vallarta. And from there, there's some sort of like water taxi. And uh, I think it'll take around like 50 minutes to get to Yalapa. So yeah, we're gonna head into the center now. So we just arrived in the center here. The boat is actually only at three. They have multiple hours. I think one's at like 11 then 11.45, but then it's only three and then 5 p.m. And it's 1 p.m. now. So yeah, we just gotta wait around here for two hours. Might even get a bite to eat some tacos or something while we're waiting. And the place you get the boat is right on that funky looking pier that we saw in yesterday's video with the cool design. So yeah, this is the place to come for the ticket. So I think the taxi boat that we're getting in is gonna be something like this. And I forgot to mention the price, how much is it? Uh, 360, uh, round trip. 360? Yeah. Okay. No, 380. Oh, 380. Okay, 380 round trip. It does look very choppy, lots of waves. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna be like 45 minutes like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we're going all the way down that coast, so it should be very scenic and beautiful. <laughs> in Yalapa and this place is looking absolutely incredible already look at this this is like tropical heaven paradise here so now we just need to find our accommodation right yeah the guy is supposed to come to pick us up so we just wait for him yeah we just wait yeah. here no no more no more So we've checked into our place now. All the pathways around here are like this, like tiny little alleyways everywhere. And the place we're staying at is called Casa Anai. That's what it's called on Airbnb. Beautiful spot, right? Yeah, it's so cool. Different from like, all the places that we've ever stayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't even looked at this place properly, so this is the first time I'm seeing it properly. So it's huge open space. Got a really nice breeze coming in here. Check this out, we got a hammock. And this balcony is awesome. Got a huge balcony. 
and then look at this for a view. This is amazing. So the beach is just down here and then yeah all around you just surrounded by this beautiful jungle scenery. So this was uh, $60 right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, not for what you're getting, I think it's a Definitely not expensive for what yeah, you're getting. But uh, when we were uh, checking on Airbnb and booking, all the places were like uh, 60 or $50 a night. And yeah, that's what we got. Yeah, amazing view. I think it's cheap for 60 More expensive than what we usually yeah, pay for. But for us. <laughs> yeah, for us, but still super good price. Yeah, I like how everything's open though. Look at this, we're a nice, almost hippie looking bedroom. Yeah, but we're probably gonna sleep on the other beds. Oh, all uh, oh, right, yeah, there is a yeah, big bed here. king size bed. Wow, so here it would be 60 and you could have like four yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely cheap then. Mm -hmm. And then a nice little bathroom as well. Yeah, really happy already that we decided to spend an entire week here, so seven days around this place. And yeah, there's apparently a lot of stuff to do here. There's like the beaches, I think there's two waterfalls and you can do like trails through the jungles and stuff. So yeah, I think it's going to be amazing. So we're going to head out and explore this place now. But before we do, I just want to talk quickly about the sponsor of this video, which is Epidemic Sound. So since 2017, when we created this channel, we've always been using Epidemic Sound for copyright free music. A lot of you guys always ask about the songs, the song names and where we get the music from. So yeah, there you go. It's always been from Epidemic Sound. As a creator, it's really important to have high quality copyright free music because you can't just put the songs that you hear on the radio in your videos because you'll get a copyright strike. So all the music that's in this video is also from Epidemic Sound. On their site, you'll be able to find more than 35,000 tracks and I think over 90,000 sound effects that you can use. They have personal plans, which covers being a YouTuber or posting on social media, anything for personal use. And they also have commercial plans, which are for commercial productions. A cool thing about using them also is the search features. So there's many genres on this channel. I usually use like lo-fi, chill hop, or some mellow electronic music, but there's many other genres. You can also choose like the mood that you want, things like that. So it's very easy to search for the right music that you want. You can sign up for a 30 day free trial with Epidemic Sound by clicking on the link in the description. So this is one of the main forms of transport around here by horse. Nope. <laughs> yeah, little horses, five of them. So I think besides horses, we just see those uh, quad bikes, right? Yeah, they're like the taxis around here. Yeah, taxi quad bike. Yeah. Got a nice little restaurant here. So on the pathway, 
we get an amazing view of the the main beach here that's a bit of a river that flows into it a beautiful color as well might be the nicest color that we've seen on this coast so far so we'll be heading there later on after the waterfall right yeah <laughs> Yeah, so it's really been reminding me and Carol of like uh, Southeast Asia, I guess. Yeah. yeah, really similar vibe since just like dirt roads like this. Probably like the rawest looking part of Mexico that we've been so far. Before we were in uh, Oaxaca, places like uh, Zipolite, but I think this is even more like less, less developed, but yeah, it adds a really nice vibe. So we have a uh, tent here. I think you can rent a tent, big campground there. There you go, rent, rent a tent. What is it, another horse? Yeah. Got the loud roosters just like Southeast Asia as well. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere you go. Hola. So this is the river that we've got to follow, I think, to get to the waterfall. As you can see, it's super dry right now because we're in the dry season. So I guess normally all this would be covered with water. Probably the waterfall is going to be less impressive than, yeah, not, than usual, just, right? Yeah, probably just little water, but yes, let's check it out. Maybe it's still going to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> and still. there's the other one as well, we might check it. Later on. Later on. Yeah, it'll be good to cool down anyway. Some cows here as well. Hola. Maybe not. The Mexican country music. Here we go, party number two. <laughs> oh, there it is back there. Yeah, hey, finally. <laughs> a bit sketchy here. Yeah, it is a bit sketchy. I guess this is the way though. I oh, know, I think up here, Carol. I don't know, I don't see a path. Maybe back there. It's actually smaller than I was expecting. Yeah. It's like a brown water as well. Yeah, you can compare it to the waterfalls that we've been going in Chiapas before. Yeah. It's still beautiful, but not, uh, not blue. Yeah, it's not blue. So nice though. I like all these huge rocks that we're surrounded by. So I didn't mention but it probably took over an hour right overall. Yeah. 
it's not super close, but at least it's not dry. We was worried that it might be like a dry waterfall. There's loads of water coming down actually. And I think when it's raining, water will come down this part as well. Looks like there's usually a falls here. Water's nice and cool though, and we can sit down because it's nice and shallow. We found a sand bag. Yeah, we found a sand bag. Good spot to chill out. Before we head out, we've just come to the part of the upper falls. Just did a little trail back there. Just see it from another angle, that's all. Not really a proper pathway though. <laughs> from the top. like this is one of the pathways to the beach <laughs> interesting entrance alleyways as usual yeah there we go to the beach Yeah, look how beautiful this is. So on one side, you have the beautiful river and then on the other side, the beautiful beach. So I read that that's what Yalapa means. It's a indigenous word for where the two rivers meet the sea. So there's this river here and then there's a little one near where we're staying, which is the other tiny waterfall. So we found a nice quiet spot right at the end of the beach here. I'm really loving the landscapes of Yalapa though. Look at it on this side, amazing. So in this area here, it's more like restaurants and they have like the sunbeds and stuff. And we're actually staying all the way over there on that hillside. So it is quite big. I mean, I think for us to walk all the way back to our place, it's about 25, 30 minutes maybe. So. Yeah, it's not as small as I thought it was.
forgot to mention how we found out about this place, Yalapa. It was actually from a subscriber on a video. They commented that they've been following us for a while and then they said that they've uh, retired here. So they live here somewhere. I did reply to them, but they didn't see uh, my reply, I don't think. Probably watching this, so yeah, thanks a lot for this recommendation. And since you live here, you live in complete paradise. This place is an amazing place to retire. big guy. Hey. So today there's no restaurant food. We're going for the homemade tuna sandwiches. That's what we make sometimes, right? When yeah. We just want something quick. Quick and cheap. <laughs> yeah, quick, cheap. We don't want to spend too much because probably these, uh, these beach clubs, they probably have uh, expensive food. Yeah, we can save money. Yeah. <laughs> and in the last video in Puerto Vallarta, we said that some of the areas reminded us of Rio de Janeiro. And here reminds us even more with like these mountains in the background, green mountains. Right now it's a little bit dry. In Rio it's never dry, so it's always like really green, but yeah, it does look very similar. There's a spot in Rio that we've been to before. It's called Ilha Grande. It's like, it's an island, but it really does just look like this, all the, the scenery. Probably the most similar place that we've ever been to, Rio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Th this region here. So this is the second river of the two rivers. This is a lot smaller. This pretty much looks like a stream right now actually. And we're going to be heading to the second waterfall to check it out. So yeah, I guess there's a trail that just goes along this little river here. Yeah, so this waterfall was much closer from the town. It's just like five, 10 minutes walking. So really easy to get here. But right now, cause we're in the dry season, there's not much water. But I bet when it's raining, that would be super impressive. It's a lot taller than the other one. Still looks nice around here though. We need to come back again after the rain season. Yeah. When everything's super green and... Yeah, not only here, but also other areas like Oaxaca. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only area we've seen that was really, really green was the Riviera Maya, right? Yeah. Because it's always raining there. Yeah, it's always raining. But still looks amazing either way.
Before we head back home, we decided to just check out this second little beach here that I saw on the drone before. So the main beach that we were on was all the way down there, but yeah, this is still a nice little one. Got a nice restaurant here as well. Be a nice place to eat. Yeah, when we came, I thought it would be just one beach. Yeah, no, there's separation between them. Yeah, the rocks. Uh, this seems to have a lot more like uh, fishing boats here. Yeah, this might be one of the coolest accommodations right on the beachfront. Even have uh, their own uh, private stairs as well. Private access. Guys, check out all these birds. There's a guy with uh, fish, I think. Oh, he's brought fish to feed them. Wow. Whoa, they're going to go crazy. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. But stinky. Yeah. They were vultures as well, it wasn't just seagulls. Oh really? Yeah, loads oh, were yeah, vultures. Evil vultures. <laughs> Eagles. So that's gonna be it for this video. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we're gonna be here for yeah many days. So we're just gonna be relaxing the other days, I think no more videos. And we've pretty much shown all the main uh, attractions there, I think anyway. And the majority of people just come here on a day trip, I think, since they have the water taxis from Puerto Vallarta. So I, I think it's less common that people actually stay, stay here, but yeah, definitely worth staying here. I think if you want something different from Puerto Vallarta as well, this place is completely different. And even down the coast, there's loads of places like this. Well, not towns, but loads of like empty beaches all the way down the coast. I think beaches of this level. So yeah, this place is awesome. And I think there's other boat tours that can take you to different beaches and stuff. So yeah, it's a great place. And in the next video, I think we're going to be in Sayulita, which is another very popular place around here. So yeah, stick around for that. As always, just drop a like to help support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.